Hi friends, welcome to Shloka Words to the World. Today I want to recite a poem. When Lilacs Last in the Doryard Bloomed, written by Walt Whitman. This is a long elegy written by Walt Whitman on the death of great Abraham Lincoln. When Lilacs Last in the Doryard Bloomed and the Great Star Early Drooped, in the western sky in the night i mount and yet shall mourn with everlasting spring ever returning spring trinity sure to me you bring lilac blooming perennial and drooping star in the west and thought of him i love o oh, powerful western fallen star o oh, powerful western fallen star o oh, shades of night o oh, moody tearful night o oh, great star disappeared Oh, the black murk that hides the star. Oh, the black murk that hides the star. Oh, cruel hands that hold me powerless. Oh, helpless soul of me. Oh, harsh surrounding cloud that will not free my soul. In the dooryard, fronting an old farmhouse near the white was had palings. Stands the lilac bush, tall growing with heart-shaped leaves of rich green. With many a pointed blossoming, rising delicate, with the perfume strong I love. With every leaf a miracle, and from this bush in the dooryard, with delicate colored blossoms and heart-shaped leaves of rich green, a sprig with its flower I break. When lilacs lost in the door backyard bloomed. When lilacs lost in the door backyard bloomed. In the swamp, in the saluted recesses, in the swamp, in the saluted recesses, a shy and hidden bird is warbling a song, solitary the thrush, the hermit withdrawn to himself. The hermit withdrawn to himself, avoiding the settlement, sings by himself a song, song of bleeding throat, this outlet song of life. Over the breast of the spring, the land, I mean cities, Amid lanes and through old woods, where lately the violets peep from the ground, spotting the grey debris. Amid the grass in the fields, each side of lanes, pausing the endless grass, pausing the yellow speared wheat, every grain from its shroud, in the dark brown fields uprisen. Pausing the apple tree, blows of white and pink in the orchards. Carrying a corpse to where it shall rest in the grave, night and day journeys a coffin. Coffin, coffin that passes through, coffin that passes through lanes and streets, through day and night with the great cloud darkening the land, through day and night with the great cloud darkening the land with the pomp of the inlooped flags, with the cities draped in black. With the show of the states themselves as of crepe wheeled women standing, with processions long and winding, and the flambeurs of the night, with the countless torches lit, with the silence of paces, and the unbared heads, with the waiting depot, the arriving coffin, and the somber faces, with the digits through the night with the duchess through the night with a thousand voices rising strong and solemn with all the mournful voices of the dirges poured around the coffin the dim lit churches and the shuddering organs wear amid these you journey with the tolling tolling bells perpetual clank perpetual clank here coffin that slowly passes I give you my sprig of lilac, not for you, for one alone. Blossoms and branches green to coffins all I bring. For fresh as the morning, thus would I chant a song for you, O sane and sacred death. O sane and sacred death. All over bouquets of roses, O death. O death, I cover you over the with roses and every lilies, but mostly and now the lilac that blooms the first. 
copious i break i break the sprigs from the bushes with loaded arms i come pouring you for you and the coffins all of odith o western orb o western orb sailing the heaven now i know what you must have meant as a month since i walked as i walked in the silence transparent shoddy shadowy night as i saw you had something to tell as you bent to me night after night as you dropped as you dropped from the sky low down as if it to my sight while the other stars are looked down as we wandered together the solemn night as we wandered together the solemn night for something i know not what kept me from sleep as the night advanced and i saw on the rim of the western how full you were of woe as the night advanced and i saw on the rim of the west how full you were of woe how full were of woe as i stood on the rising ground in the breeze in the cool transparent night as i watched where you passed where you passed and was lost in the nether ward black of the night as my soul in its trouble dissatisfied sank as where you sat orb concluded dropped in the night and was gone sing on there in the swamp sing on there in the swamp o singer bashful and tender hi your notes i hear your call i hear i come presently understand you but a moment i linger for the lust of star has detained me the star my departing comrade holds and detains me oh oh how shall i warble oh how shall i warble myself for the death one there i loved and how shall i deck my song for the lord sweet soul that has gone and what shall my perfume be for the grave of him i love sea winds blown from west east and west blown from the eastern sea and blown from the western sea till they ran the priory sea prior priory meeting these and with these and the breath of my chant i will perfume the grave of him i love oh what shall i hang on oh what shall i hang on oh what shall i hang on the chamber walls on what shall the pictures be that i hang on the walls to adorn the burial house of him i love pictures of growing spring and farms and homes with the fourth month eve at sundays sundown and the gray smoke lucid and bright with floods of yellow gold with floods of yellow gold of the gorgeous indolent sinking sun burning expanding the air with the flesh sweet herbage and a foot and the pale green leaves of the trees prolific in the distance the flowing glades the breast of the river with a wind dapple here and there with the ranging hills on the banks with many a line against the sky and shadows and the city at hand with dwellings so dense and the stacks of chimneys and all the scenes of life and workshops and the workmen homeward returning lo lo body soul this land my own manhattan with spice and the sparkling and hurrying tides and ships the varied and ample land the south and the north with light ohios shores and flashing missouris oh oh here shores and flashing missouri and ever the far spreading prairies covered with grass and corn lo the most excellent sun so calm and hearty the violet and purple morn with just felt bridges the gentle soft born measureless light the miracle spreading bathing all the fulfilled known the coming eve delicious the welcome nights and the stars over my city shining all enveloping man and land sing on sing on you gray brown bird sing from the swamps the recessions recesses for your chant from the bushes limitless out of the dusk 
out of the cedars and pines sing on dearest brother warble you are really song loud human song with voice of uttermost wo wo liquid free and tender wo liquid free and tender wo oh, wild and loose to my soul wo oh, wondrous singer you only i hear it the star holds me but will soon depart yet the lilac with mastering adore holds me now while i sat in the day and looked forth in the close of the day with its light and the fields of spring and the farmers preparing their crops in the large unconscious scenery of my land with its lakes and forest in the heavenly aerial beauty under the arching heavens of the after noon swift passing and the voices of children and women the many moving sea tides and i saw the ships how they sailed many moving sea tides and i saw the ships how they sailed the summer approaching with richness and the fields all busy with labor and the infinite separate houses how they are went on each with its meals and minute yeah of daily usages and the streets how this and the streets how their throbbings throbbed and the city spent low then and there falling upon them all falling upon upon them all among them all envelop enveloping me with the rest enveloping me with the rest appeared the cloud appeared the long black trail and i knew death its thought and the sacred and the sacred knowledge of death i knew death its thought and the sacred knowledge of death then with the knowledge of death as walking one side of me and the thought of death close walking the other side of me and i in the middle as with companions as holding the hands of companions i fled forth to the hiding receiving night the tox not the tox not down to the shores of the water the path by the swamp in the dimness to the solemn shadow cedars and ghostly pines so still